Okay, we're filming. This is a, a building 483 Beacon Street, obviously 96. It's a corner uh, unit, uh, which means uh, it's the it's like overlooking the, the back streets, which means you're not on the main road. The main road being Massachusetts Avenue and Beacon Street, and they they can get a little noisy. Okay, motor, most motorcycles and so forth going by all the time. Here on the inside corner, uh, we hear almost nothing. I mean, you can hear a siren on occasion, but you don't hear the traffic and you don't smell the, the exhaust. It's none of that. I'm on the ninth floor. So anyway, this is a 1-1 one -one apartment. It's 480 square feet, okay? And so this is the uh, so-called foyer, even though it's tiny. So a little coat, rack, uh, trash bin. Uh, You've got a uh, closet. Uh, it's it, it's fairly deep. It's fairly high. You could store some stuff here. Not to mention, uh, you know, the uh, mops and brooms and vacuums and all that. The floor is Italian Carrera marble. Uh, I bought this apartment in 1988, so you know, 33 years ago, and I put this floor in my well, I had to put it in uh, then. So it's an old marble floor, but it's marble, and you know, it, it seems to last. Uh, I uh, furnished it recently with a crate and barrel. So we, I had a bar here previously. I took it out and just put in a, uh, a folding leaf table. You can eat on it, you can, you can work at it. Uh, some storage shelves, uh, put your you know, cookware here, pastas and so forth. The kitchen I put in in 2011, I was in Afghanistan, I was a Marine. And uh, while I was there, uh, the building uh, was renovating um, itself and uh, we had the option to install this stuff so the uh, the cabinets of maple smaller refrigerator I think this is a 10 or 12 cubic feet electric stove I would love gas but it's not available here granite countertops uh, the, the refrigerator by the way it's uh, brand new so it's uh, clean and functional and you know shiny a um, uh, little kitchen sink area not much to say there dishwasher Okay, uh, it comes furnished this apartment to include uh, dishware, glassware, uh, silverware. It's all included. Okay, some Harvard mugs, and uh, I've only had one tenant since I got in here and fixed it up. A, a German couple. They they stayed five months, and uh, they left me a few things. It's kind of nice of them, and they say they'll be back. They're a young business couple, very professional. So there is an owner's closet here. This is where I keep my stuff to include the air conditioning, you know, their window units. So when you're done using it, that's where it goes. It goes into there. I keep, you know, a couple of clothing items just so I don't have to travel with luggage. I got a bookcase. Eh, I'll be populating the bookcase over time. Frankly, uh, I got stuff spread out all over the globe. I, I don't know where most of it is. Uh, hardwood floors in the uh, living room. Uh, I've got area carpets. So uh, the living room, you know, everything's small, but there are apartments in this building that are small. There are one ones, one bedroom, one bath with 315 square feet. This is 480. So in that respect, this is a big apartment, but it's it's under 500 square feet. Now check out this view. This is uh, Back Bay. That's the Charles River. Bridges everywhere. There, there are six. I can see the... Uh, the Longfellow is right there. Uh, Harvard is just to the left, that's MIT. Uh, way st straight ahead is the Government Dome, the Boston Government uh, Center. Uh, Bunker Hill is right over there. You can see the, uh, the pyramid. That's the Zackham Bridge there and the Tobin Bridge. Pardon me, there's Bunker Hill as well. That's Cambridge on the other side. This is Back Bay. These are old four or five story brownstones with chimneys, they're gorgeous. Uh, the trees here below, that's the alleyway for parking, but you can see it, it's almost like a garden, especially in the, uh, the warmer months when the trees are all full in bloom. But all these townhouses, the prices range from three to seven million. And the apartments, typically a studio uh, begins around five to 600,000 and on up, you know, one bedroom's being more. Over there's the Hancock Tower, okay? And over to the right is, uh, this is the Prudential Center, and so-called Copley Square. There's uh, 
Let's count them. There's uh, Starrow Drive right over there by the water that'll take you out to the highways. Uh, you got Beacon Street, the alleyway, Marlboro Street, alleyway, Commonwealth Ave, Com Ave, and then you get uh, you get uh, Newberry Street, which is all the shopping and dining. Then after that is Boylston, which is more of the same, but more hotels, shopping, dining, and more hotels. So uh, at night, this is just spectacular, just incredible views. Everything's lit up. Some of it's uh, neon, you know, over by the bridge, kind of a la Miami. That's how they used to do the bridges there. The bathroom, uh, we got a, like a little uh, laundry closet. You can keep your towels and, and soaps and so forth here, laundry basket. Um, tile of floor. This bathroom was all from Expo Center. That was the uh, the higher end brand of uh, Home Depot back in the uh, 90s and uh, 2000s. Uh, so I've got a Carrera uh, sink top. It's seen better days, but you know, that kind of stuff lasts 100 years. Okay, uh, just Italian tile and uh, you've got a Toto toilet, they're one of the best, along with others like Kohler. Couple of different spouts, medicine cabinet, and look at these views out the uh, bathroom window. My God, I get up in the middle of the night sometimes, and I I use the bathroom, but then I find myself standing here just looking at the lights. It's just fantastic. Uh, so a small living room. We got a uh, a leather club chair from Domain uh, at uh, Newberry Street. I don't think they're there anymore. I bought this 25 years ago. So the couches, the couch rather, and the sofa are old leather, but they're perfectly good, functional. And uh, everything else is brand new, everything. You know, a little wine cooler, TV. Uh, I've got a second TV here in the bedroom, which I'm probably going to upgrade. I just bought a new one for my New Hampshire place, which I think I'm bringing it down here. So you have two fairly decent sized TVs, nothing fantastic. So your kitchen, high ceilings. Okay, everything's freshly painted. Little entryway here into the bedroom. The bedroom, uh, as you would expect, is uh, moderate in size. Uh, that's a queen bed. It's a Japanese bed, very expensive Japanese bed. So uh, it comes with, uh, uh, which we call drawers below for added storage. Uh, again, everything's brand new, every light, the desk. Uh, you know, the dresser, the bed itself, high ceilings here too. The windows here too, a little bit bigger than out in the living room, okay? It's a hot day uh, today. It's 70 degrees in January in, in Boston. Uh, call it global warming, but I remember 30 years ago, we used to get a few days like this in the middle of uh, the winter. Uh, this is, uh, let me see what we got here. I usually don't open this. I just turn the blinds because there are buildings across the way. And, you know, people could look in, but I just keep the blinds in place. That new tall building, brand spanking new, there's actually two over there. Um, that is the Ritz Hotel, okay? And this other building opposite me, uh, Marlboro Street, it's called Marlboro itself, and it was built by uh, Sears, the architect Sears, same guy who built this place. Over there, that glass building, the lower one, uh, you got everything cooking over there. You got, uh, I think it's called uh, Ida Italia. So, the, you know, they got like, I don't know, like 10 different Italian restaurants in one building. All the same company. You got, uh, you got a, a number of different stores. Uh, there's a car dealership uh, and so forth. Below, uh, just the rooftops. Uh, sometimes you'll find a deck or two people often the warmer months, but actually all year, they'll go up there and have cocktails at night, you know, show off the city views to their friends. That's the uh, Essex Hotel right over there, little boutique hotel. Uh, over in the corner, you can't really see it because the lights are off, but when the lights are on, that's Fenway Park. So this has about a 200 and, I don't know what, 220, 240 degree view of the city. Okay, so 180 would just be directly left and directly right. This goes all the way down to there. And uh, that's pretty much it. We got uh, certainly uh, another closet here. This one's a little bit bigger, it's deep. So uh, you've got some uh, luggage storage. So again, for the uh, people renting this, uh, I do short and long-term. 
you've got the main closet you've got the uh under the bed storage and it'll hold quite a lot the whole size of this bed you can put stuff under there there's a little like uh spaces built designed for that you've got the main entry closet and you've got the uh as mentioned before you got the laundry laundry section uh, closet shelving whatever okay so it's been ample for uh one or two people there's no room for more i mean i, I imagine you could have a child here but um i've never had one never had one uh so here's the uh, foyer looking at it from the uh opposite direction okay and this leaf of course drops if if you don't need it up and uh that's it it's, it's quiet listen we're just we're in the middle of the city right now just listen there's nothing a lot of birds flying around i've got uh i think i have one window open in the bedroom so you could hear it you know whatever's outside listen nothing quiet now if a siren goes by you'll hear that but regular traffic you can see down there that's mass ave it's uh pretty much like four lanes two in each direction it's a busy street mostly with uh bicyclists i mean it's bicycle center along with scooters and automated skateboards and rollerblades everything's just motorized and everybody's flying they're moving so uh three four streets over is newberry street um and uh you can see that beige looking cement building that's newberry uh hundreds of restaurants hundreds you know hotels same with boylston even uh calm Ave has one or two restaurants on this side if you go towards fenway there's there's another you know hundred restaurants uh, oyster bars and McDonald's, whatever you want. Fenway, of course, has its own grouping of uh, restaurants. It's a great place to live. Parking, there's residential parking, so you go get a stick from the city. And I'm not positive, but you probably need Massachusetts license plates or at least, you know, a rental contract in your hand. I'm not sure if you have to be actually a mass resident or not, but it's free parking. And the meters, of course, are down there. There's uh, handicapped parking. Uh, close enough. In fact, uh, I use it myself. And that's it. Uh, you can work in the financial district there. Uh, you know, you can even work in Cambridge. Harvard's the number one bus right out, right outside. You can work in Copley and all the different hotels and restaurants as well as Newberry. It's a great place to live. Me, I'm in Florida with the family. I have small children still in school. Elementary school. That's right. So I'm stuck down there for a while. But this is gorgeous. And at night, the view is spectacular. Much better than during the day. Anyway, uh, I'm Dana Albert. And this is uh, 43 Beacon, number 96. I've owned this again since 1988. I was 30 years old. Uh, it was a pretty good investment for a young guy. I bought four that year. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a penny, but I did somehow. Okay, uh, that's all I've got. Uh, Hope to sign you on. I normally do 12 month leases. If it's less, let's talk. We'll negotiate. The last uh, couple I said, German couple, business types, they stayed five months. They're, they're so happy here. And they wanna come back if there's reason for them to come back. They'll stay right here. All right then, that's all I have. Goodbye.